sorry it took so long, but we haven't been able to continue about what's coming up. And tomorrow's off, and we're going on an 11-day trip, so we had to give them the itinerary and let them know what's going to be going on a little bit. But that was the cause for the delay. So, all right, anybody got anything? Roy, Sterling Manley. Don't wait that long, guys. I'll be out of here. I'll show you speed and quickness. Sterling Manley, mm -hmm. a heck of a game. Played strong second half. You just thought about this game and what he's done. You know, I think that uh, it might be what we had to do all year is to find out who's going to be playing that night. Uh, Garrison was in a little more of a funk tonight than he was uh, in the previous time. Except he did go to the free throw line and make two free throws when it started to get close. Uh, uh, but Sterling is long. Uh, around the basket, he does some good things. Uh, 17 minutes. In, it just 16 points and 13 rebounds only in 17 minutes, so that's pretty impressive. And uh, we got to get the guys to the front to guy in the low post so we don't let him catch it every time. Uh, in fact, uh, B. Huff did a better job of fronting the guy in the low post than anybody else did. It's it's hard not having Cam, not having B. Rob, and then you got Kenny with four fouls, uh, uh, Garrison with four fouls at the end of the first half. We had uh, Joel with two, uh, Garrison with two, and I didn't want to play them the last five minutes, so it was trying to put a mismatch few of the lineups out there, but we had five guys in double figures and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's nine guys that played double figures minutes, and uh, so it was, a, it was a good team win over a good team. That's they've gotten off with a tough start, but they played at Monmouth, at Arkansas, at North Carolina, and, and I think they've got at Maryland next. But that's a, a good team. Uh, we really wanted to try to focus and do a great job on uh, uh, Zach Thomas. He only got 21, so we really did a great job. And the other guy fouling, uh, they're the two guys who were players, uh, first team All Conference for them. And, they both had 21, so we didn't do a very good job. But we weren't nearly as good defensively as we needed to be, but uh, we made enough plays. They cut it to one, and I think Steve told me we made uh, a couple of free throws. And then uh, we finally, I finally made one decent call, called a set play from the sideline, and Luke made a three from the top of the key. And, and then we were able to get a couple of stops and get it back out there a little bit. But I was very frustrated in the first half. I only looked at the score one time. The whole first half, a lot of times I go and not look at it at all. And I looked up and couldn't, I can't remember now, it's 15 or 16, and then uh, we miss a box out and give them a basket, and then we miss a pickup assignment and give them a three, and then all of a sudden it's 15 or 16 down to 10, and uh, that gave them a little more confidence too. Other right. than the shooting, what did you think of Joel tonight? I thought he was really good. I halfway expected that from the shooting, but when he made that first one, I thought maybe that's going to be wrong. Uh, he's the one who handed me the ball out there. I told him he's glad it was a handoff that he didn't shoot it to me. Uh, but uh, it would not have been a complete pass if he had thrown it to me. as like he's shooting. But uh, tough, tough kid. Uh, played 30 minutes. I'm mad at myself that I played him that much, to be honest with you. But uh, uh, he doesn't have any bad effects from playing. So uh, tomorrow again is off. And then we've got some tough things going for the next 10 days. Roy, with Luke and the ability shown to score. You may not surprised at that, but are you surprised how comfortable he's been in that role? Uh, yeah, I would say probably a little bit because you get comfortable with great confidence and how do you get great confidence is because you're accomplishing things and you get confidence from working hard. So I knew he was going to do that last part. Again, I met with him, uh, I met with every player at the end of each year and talk about their year and what I expected of them and after his freshman year he said, you'll find out I'll work harder than everybody. And he admits that uh, Justin Jackson may have tied him. And so this year I said, what are you going to tell me now? And he said, you'll see it again. But uh, I think he's gained a great deal of confidence from his play last year down the stretch in the tournament. Butler and Kentucky, not just the Kentucky shot, but Butler and Kentucky. Uh, and then when you have confidence from your play and you put in the amount of time and effort that he does, I mean, uh, he's in the gym, guys. He's in the gym a lot. I came up here one night to... I think it was one Sunday night, just to, it was raining, and I wanted to get some work in myself. I was going to walk in the concourse for an hour, and he was down there shooting by himself. I got the other toss back out and put it under the basket, so if it hits, if it make the shot, it bounces back to you more easily. And He was there when I got there, and I walked for an hour and went in the shower, and he was still there when I left. But uh, uh, that kind of uh, work ethic is always going to make you more comfortable, too. Roy, well, certainly had the, you know, the bad injury line when he was in high school. What was your level of confidence in him being able to contribute? Well, you know, I, I never <coughs> saw him when he had the injury problems. I just saw him uh, after it's over with. Saw him in the fall of his uh, senior year. It was a pretty late start in recruiting. Uh, uh, Coach Robinson heard about him and went to see him, liked him. 
I go up to see him, liked him, uh, offered him scholarship, loved him, his personality loved him as a kid. Uh, uh, went to see him play a game, and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Uh, he came running up to me after the game, after they had been released from the locker room. He was like a little puppy dog, just like, how do I do? And I said, you got to try to understand, you got to need one thing. And he said, what? And I rubbed my hand across his forehead. He didn't have one bead of sweat on him. I said, you got to learn how to sweat, son. So that's been our motive this fall, is we have helped him learn how to sweat. And we've done a great job of that. And, uh, but I think he's playing harder. He's doing things that I think he can do. And we don't talk about that other stuff, because I just don't like to talk about it. He's really been good for us. Did he pass the conditioning uh, running drill final? Two of the three. <laughs> If he were to get uh, 62 points and 61 rebounds in the game, he still wouldn't start the next game. He can't start if he don't pass all the running tests. How much more assertive was was Theo tonight, especially when Bucknell made his run and he got, got down to one? Well, he's the one I got mad at for not boxing out. So you don't want me to praise a guy, and you also don't want me to praise a guy that didn't go out and close out on number four. It's bigger than a house. And you can't guard somebody <laughs> like that, and he lets him shoot a three. So I was mad at Theo. It was great level of anger. Uh, but boy, you went down there 9 of 10 from the line and he took the ball to the basket and made some plays. 9 of 10 from the line, 19 points, 6 assists, 2 turnovers, 33 minutes. And, uh, you know, I jumped on him one time because he gave a tired signal on the defensive end of the floor. You should never do that. If you're going to give a tire, give it to me on offense. And so I chewed on him a little bit, but other than that, I thought after that point, other than no denial over there, I thought he was really something. And he was. He made some huge baskets for us. His 19 points and the nine free throws are career highs. Take one more for Coach. Roy, the news of, yeah, the Two news more. of Cameron Johnson's injury, how, how might that affect, you know, maybe what you even envisioned, how you would be able to play with his build? Well, it's, just, it's been pretty recent, guys, because it was uh, Monday's practice. Yeah, was Monday. Steve was even at practice. It was Monday's practice when it happened, and so there hasn't been a lot of time to think. And, see what's going on and tonight. Like I said, it was just going to see my pants who was going to sub where, because you also with Cam, you have B-Rob. And so both of them are out. And uh, so that meant we only had one true three-man on the team, that's Steve. So sometimes we had to go with Kenny as a three, and I think one time we may have even gone with Andrew as a three. And Andrew gave us some good minutes defensively too. Uh, but uh, uh, Cam, uh, four to six weeks, uh, we hope we'll get him back even quicker, but we're not going to push him. He uh, really sort of wanted to play on Friday night, and it just didn't feel good for me. And then Sunday came to practice and really did a nice job and was fighting through the uh, stiffness in the back and his neck. And then he goes in to lay it up, and a fast break uh, play in the scrimmage. And uh, the seventh came out of nowhere and blocked it. It was a big-time block. And Cam came down, and his leg got buckled up underneath him. And uh, so it, was, it, it looked ugly. It was ugly. But, uh, four to six weeks and uh, we'll get ready to go see him at the hospital right now. Adam, last one. Um, with Cam out, how does it kind of open the door for Kenny Williams to step back in the starting lineup and kind of assert himself again? Well, I, I, I think I started Kenny the first game. But he oh, did. Okay. Yeah, I think Sorry, well, right. maybe how does it allow you to, to work the rotation a little bit? Get that I don't know. I'm just being honest with you because, again, it's less than 48 hours ago when it happened. And, uh, you know, today uh, I played Joel with seventh and, and with uh, Jaleek both and played Joel some to two. That was probably the reason he got a few more minutes than I really wanted to get. But uh, uh, you look down there, there's just not that many guys. Okay, thanks, thanks, Coach. Pleasure.